Wait, which color was that? <laughs> What's oh, up, guys? Purple. It's Jaboogie, and today we got this uh, LTSN episode here. We're going to be talking about NFC playoffs, obviously. Today we got the final matchup off, Green Bay and Dallas. Let's start off with analysis. Um, let's talk about Atlanta and uh, Seattle. Just a blowout there. What do you got to say about that one, Dustin? Well, you know, I was really expecting a more tight game. But then again, Earl Thomas was out. And they got exposed by Julio and Matt Ryan. That's <laughs> basically it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Nate, what do you got to say about the game? Atlanta and Seattle. Man, I'm like hella surprised, to be honest. Uh, I thought Seahawks would win, but I guess Atlanta scoring won them that game, man. All right. Nana, what do you have to say about, you know, them pulling through, taking the dub, Atlanta? Honestly, I'm not surprised at all because last video I was pulling up stats, you know, talking about what I would see in this match, you know, Matt Ryan doing his job, Julio, you know, being that. One guy on that team. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not surprised on the result. It was just expected. All right, and then Zach, what did you think about Atlanta beating Seattle yesterday? Honestly, I thought it was gonna. Be, and when I watched the first quarter, I thought it was gonna be Seahawks. But then the far, the longer we got into the game, and after 19 points being scored in the first quarter, in the second quarter, for them, it was just over at that point. They they just outscored them. Even if the Seahawks offense started rolling, there's no way a defense would be able to stop them. Yeah. All right. So Green Bay and Dallas. That Dustin. was the early game today. Oh, Dustin. Uh, that was the earlier game that went on today. This episode will probably come out on the 16th. What? So yeah. Uh, if. Basically, everybody who's watching, right. this happened yesterday, not today. But, uh, anyways, we got Green Bay coming back, you know. Well, basically, Dallas coming back and uh, making this game real tight. It was a, it was a perfect ending. If you're, if you were an NFL fan, you liked the ending of that game. Um watching Dallas come from behind and what? almost taking it. So, Dustin, what do you have to say about that win there? Well, I was expecting a close game. And, uh, yeah, it was a close game. Uh, A-Rod showed up. Their defense was trash as usual, but whatever. Well, the defense uh, did come up when they needed with that interception. Um, yeah, what's his but name? they didn't Hyde. do anything with no, him. No, he, no, true, no. but he did. He came up and uh, he read that that uh, screen pass. That was a really, that was a very veteran move right there. Yeah, that was a great play. Uh, fucking the one time Aaron Rodgers doesn't score was that time. But besides that, uh, you know, I want to, I want A Rod to shut up all the Cowboys fans, and he did that. So. Yeah, basically. All right, so Nate, what did you think about Dallas losing to Green Bay? I, I expected more out of Dallas, but Aaron Rodgers pulled in for the win, though. I mean, I I guess you really can depend on offense from Aaron Rodgers there. Yeah, that's right. You out of three nonsense didn't really help in this situation. Did you? <laughs> well, hold up. Defense for Green Bay was also doing pretty good well, too. They, well, basically, Think about it, they you know, locked them down. Basically, not really locked them down, Nate. I wouldn't say that at all. That's where you're wrong. But you know, they did have two out of three. That was offense and special teams. Mason Crosby hit two field goals, which basically iced the game. One of them was the game winner. So your two out of three <laughs> there, and normally defense should be one of them, but it wasn't. In this case, they were able to pull away with it. Nana, what do you have to say about this game? 
Well, you know, like I said a few videos ago, I said this game would start off as a blowout. And Dallas did decide to pull through, making it a close game. You know, they they fought hard, but they can't be Aaron Rodgers. It's just not going to happen, you know. They were pretty overrated. I'm proud of for the, the Green Bay to uh, pull through and get that win. But honestly, I don't see them getting any farther than that game for Dallas. So Zach, what are you? Uh, what is? What were your thoughts on that game? I know you were watching it. What did you? I thought it was a lot higher scoring than it was gonna be. I thought it'd be a, an okay score. I didn't think it'd get up to the thirties. I thought maybe we'd get twenty one, maybe twenty eight. But the fact that it was both in the thirties surprised me. That's just my professional opinion, though. All right, all right. Well, you know, I'm gonna admit too. I didn't see the game being that high scoring. But at the same time, I can't be too shocked as, you know, both teams rely on their offense. Uh, they're both offensive teams. You have uh, Ezekiel Elliott and Dak Prescott. You know, Dak, he made a few mistakes, and um, a few of them were costly. Ezekiel Elliott, they were shutting him down a bit. And Aaron Rodgers, he showed up. I mean... Well, towards... Uh, you know, towards the end of the during like the second half, you could you could even chicken. You know, play chicken defense was down. You know, it just wasn't. They weren't as consistent as they were in the first half. Exactly, and they yeah. got they they got that pull away. <laughs> All right, now let's move on to um, next week. We have the NFC Championship game. Green Bay going to Atlanta, you know. Atlanta's been looking good, and, you know, we talk about um, offense. Can it get the job done? Can you win with offense? And, you know, basically all the teams that are left, which Atlanta, Pittsburgh, um, Green Bay, and New England, the best defense is New England. So, with that being said, you know defense is not necessarily the key to this year's Super Bowl. And we all know defense wins championships, but it looks like not this year. So, you know, what, what what's going to happen? I don't know. There's no defenses really here. You know, the, the Atlanta defense, they, they did their job against Seattle, but their offense isn't that good as I stated last time. You know... And um, what are they going to do? The defense versus Aaron Rodgers? I don't know. What's the Packers defense going to do to try to stop Julio Jones and Matt Ryan? Again, I don't know. So what do you have to say about this game, Dustin? Well, it's basically two offense powerhouses going at it. Exactly. So uh, it's basically who's going to score the most and who's going to make the less mistakes. I really don't fucking know, but, uh, uh, I've been going with Aaron Rodgers the whole playoff, so might as well just go with him right now. All right. None of the defenses are going to do shit. All right. So. Nate, who are you taking this game? Crap. I have no idea. I don't, I don't even want to say nothing because last time I jinxed. You know, both teams that I picked lost. <laughs> well, you did pick no. New England, and they won. Well, it's New England against So it looks like Houston, you're, Texas. you're, like, you're one on. for three. Well, you're one for three. That's terrible. No, you're you're, you're one for four. One for four. That's even. Wait, worse. no, you no, you're two for four because you picked you picked Pittsburgh. So you got all your oh, yeah. AFC teams right. You just can't get that <sighs> NFC right. All right. But, I guess I don't know the NFC. But uh, Nana, who are you gonna go with? We'll come back to you, Nate. Well, as much as I respect Aaron Rodgers, you know, I still think Matt Ryan and Julio Jones are gonna pull through and get this W. Because everybody, you know, everybody's been sleeping on them until they came to the playoffs, and I think they're still gonna manage to do a good job, bring themselves to the Super Bowl. Okay. All right, Zach, who are you going to pick for this game? 
Let me drop Atlanta. some knowledge on you right quick. So I'm going to say this now. After so, so let's, Seattle almost had the arguably best defense in the at the beginning of the playoffs. They had the best defense compared to the other teams. Gotcha. And at the game, I, I would put Seattle above the Chiefs. That's just my call, though, for defense. But so the Falcons' defense had zero turnovers the whole game, and they forced two on Seattle. With Wester Wilson, usually comes up pretty clutch in the playoffs. He always he doesn't really let it get to his head. So getting two turnovers two, two turnovers on him by itself just with Russell Wilson's a pretty good achievement. So right now they could have arguably have one of the best defenses compared since it's just an offensive powerhouse. They could have one of the best defenses in the playoffs. And Green Bay had a turnover and but they only got one as well. So with that knowing also Aaron Rodgers threw I think it was a pick. I have to check again to make sure it wasn't a fumble. It was a pick. It was a pick. And it sounds weird, but I feel like Matt Ryan might be more competent in the playoffs. Because I don't – when was the last time, like, that the Falcons and the Packers went at it in the playoffs? Uh, never. Yeah, never. Exactly. Never happened. Like, there's going to be no – like, no way to compare them to each other. So this is – people are going to put it off the regular season games, but you can't do that with the playoffs. So okay, I'm all, I, I'll give it to the Falcons. That's my call. All right, so oh. we got one for Green Bay, two for Atlanta. Nate, it comes down to you. Who is it? Who's it going to be? You know what? Since Atlanta surprised me so much with how well they can score in a game, I guess I'm going to have to go with Atlanta. I mean, I don't know. I don't see Green Bay scoring as many points as Atlanta is doing. You also have to consider the fact that um, as good as Green Bay's defense is, like they eventually slow down. So even if Green Bay starts winning, it's not going to stay that way. Well, it's just going to go I'm downhill. Not, at, I'm going to have to question where you say their defense is good. Well, I mean, it's not like good, but they do their job when it's needed. But then eventually it just okay, disappears. I see, I see where you're coming from. All right. Yeah, he's saying they'll hold them when they need to. They're not going to give up huge plays okay, yeah. like in the first quarter. So it's just a blowout. They'll, they'll keep it going for a while. Okay. All right. I think that if that's what might be. That's what I'm thinking. So technically, we have three of you going for Atlanta. Dustin here is the lone wolf. Um, You know, Dustin's got some strong belief in Aaron Rodgers, and it's hard to blame him, you know. Aaron Rodgers has been a monster. He's been running the table. And, you know, I wouldn't be shocked if he ran the table. As much as I hate to say it, he, it it's a 100% possibility that he does pull off, taking him to the Super Bowl. But I don't think they're going to get anywhere past that. In my opinion, that's just me. But, you know, Atlanta's a good team. And this one is just a very hard decision. It's going to come down to that fourth quarter. I feel it's going to be a very tight game. You know, both teams are offensive teams. The defenses, you know, Atlanta obviously has a better defense. But as you guys said, you know, Green Bay's defense does what it has to do. And, you know, necessarily whether it's good or not, they're not allowing these big plays. They were a few times today they got caught off guard. But... You know, they're that not necessary. Almost every NFL team. Exactly. So, you know, and it's also due to their roster injuries, you know, it's the trash corners getting, you know, scored on. But it it is what it is. Um, well, I mean. One more thing. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Nana. My bad. No, I'll, you can go. Go ahead. Okay, so. Well, I'm thinking it's going to be quick. The only thing, the Green Bay has good wide receivers, but they don't have playmaking ones like Julio Jones. Well, here's the deal. And also, they're they're without Jordy Nelson. So uh, yeah, the, I, I was going to say he's going to come back. He's sure. going to come back? He, he might, but still. They, they're, like, Jordy Nelson's good, but Julio Jones is... Yeah. Like, yeah. He, he, he can make... I feel like he's a bigger playmaker out of all the wide receivers. Oh, for that sure. Be at that game. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Julio's so I think they'll top. have that. He's top. All right. Okay, so... If there's going to be a chance of Green Bay actually winning this game, they need to make sure it doesn't come down to a field goal like it did this game. Because, like Joe likes to 
explain. He it it was pretty lucky. It was like a lucky thing that happened to Green Bay. Like you get Not ice and then all of a sudden you make the second one. So you know it's just Green Bay. If they're gonna win, they need to stop. They can't just rely on the field goal again because that's not going to work against the Falcons, especially with Julio Jones playmaker like Zach said. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think that reasoning makes any sense. But okay. Alright, well, we're breaching that time. It's score prediction. You know, be as accurate as you can. You know, we got close. I had a good prediction with Atlanta. I said Atlanta would be in the 30. Seattle's in the 20s. You know, at least a 10-point game, so I was right there. I didn't check the other stats. But, um, you know, let's see. Let's start off with Dustin. What's your uh, score prediction? Uh, this shit's going to be high. So, uh, 35-34. Oh, Ooh. That's, Ooh. A, that's, a, that's a needle game. Yeah, bro, I'm just choosing Packers because Aaron Rodgers is just godly. So you say maybe like a Hail Mary is that seal the deal touchdown puts him ahead by one? Not a Hail Mary, but like maybe a field goal again. Who knows? You can't have that. All right, Nate, what is your score prediction? Uh, 35-42, Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. Oh. No, that's too much. That's oh, that's mean. fucking bold, bro. That's I don't know, man. I, I wouldn't be too shocked if it got in the 40s. You know what I'm saying? These are two offenses, Amanda's two done top it, tier Amanda's offenses. Done it multiple times before. But then yeah. also, it's just at, at a certain point after that top tier and they're scoring in the 40s, they're going to be exhausted. And then it will become a defensive battle. At a certain point, if if the offenses go in as much as we think. Well, hey, technically, technically, all of those points don't have to be scored. By the offense, as we saw New England applying Nate's two out of three, he came back with the kick return. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you can always have a pick six, so the defense could be providing points, but that's very unlikely. New Didn't England's they have two defenses. Both? I, I don't think they had a pick six, but they had an interception. They had like six picks. Oh, can I say one thing? For sure. Sure, Dustin. The, the boy Matthew Slater came up clutch again. Uh, he did. He did. He hit. He got that interception. At the one-yard line? Yep. At the the punt return, whatever the fuck it was. So I'm guessing we're switching divisions now? No, I'm just we'll saying, like, Nate's two out of three. It's going to work, bro. Oh, yeah, I guess we haven't scored yet, sorry. Yep. All right. So, Nana, what's your score prediction? I say it'll be... A close, but not too close of a game. So I'm gonna say, thirty to twenty-one. Okay. Mm. So. Falcons win it. Damn. No love. For Aaron Rodgers. Okay. So. All right. Zach, what about you? Twenty-one thirty-five Falcons. Okay. Oh my God. Two touchdown games. <laughs> I don't think. Oh, right, Dustin. Cause it's just not gonna happen game. this time. Dallas was easy, but this one's not gonna happen. Okay. All right. Well, we'll definitely see next week how this is going to come. Obviously, guys, you have a whole week to process this video instead of um, last minute. So go ahead, leave a like, share it to your friends, see if they agree, see if you agree. Comment below what you think, and uh, you know what I'm saying. Subscribe, LTSN, we're going to be active with this, so expect it. That's it. I'm Jaboogie. We got Dustin, Nate, Nana, and our special guest, Zach, and we are out.